got some rain there in Daytona Beach, and it's all part of a system that's prompted a Fox 35 weather impact for today. Weather impact day. Rounds of rain. It's not going to rain all day, but I mean, we were talking about this yesterday, that potential for a wet morning commute, especially in Volusia County, and that has now come to fruition. For this afternoon, we're going to see most of the rain concentrated south of Orlando, but here's a live look right now from I-95, and, and you called it there, Morgan. We've had some flashes of lightning, some rumbles of thunder. Here's a live view from the beach, and you can kind of see the, the morning dawn is delayed thanks to those thick clouds, but on occasion, some big blue flashes of lightning from our Hard Rock Hotel cam. If you're going out on the motorcycle today, it's a gamble. We're going to have enough rain out there where you're going to be in and out of it. Probably not the best day for it. Take the truck in if you can today. Downpours here and there. High temps around 90 degrees. Here's a look at the big picture. We've got a low pressure system that is lingering offshore. It's not a tropical low. It's a it's an elevated low. It's kind of like a mid-level low. It happens instead of at the surface. It's at about 18,000 feet, and that's going to be enough to kick off some storms, especially south of Orlando this afternoon. And it's kind of lollygagging out there. Its ultimate track isn't motivated. It's just kind of drifting west-northwest, and where it goes will determine what we see, right? I know that's kind of like a no kidding, right? But uh, it, it really is like spinning a top, you know, tabletop, you know, where you spin the top like a kid's toy and kind of trying to forecast where it's going to go. You know, is it going to go that way or is it going to get caught by a little nook and go that way? Well, the Hurricane Center is saying, listen, we got to watch out for this thing as well. We're giving it a 10% chance of development because if it goes that way toward the Carolinas and it's over water for 12, 24 hours longer than drifting on shore to land in Florida, it could develop into a tropical depression. Well, that said, no matter what becomes of it, the impacts here will be the same. We'll have a pretty decent chance for some rain and where it rains, it's really going to pour. But that's that's the rub here is that, you know, a lot of places today may only get a, a trace of rain, maybe a quarter inch of rain, but a couple communities could see six or seven inches of rain. Yeah, this afternoon, especially Orlando South. Right now, we're catching some heavy storms over there on the Gulf Coast. But here's a look at the rain in Daytona. It's heading south now down through A1A, the Allendale area, down through Ponce and then New Smyrna Beach next. So some storms there right on the beach as Morgan reported. And over on the west coast on the Gulf side, from Homosassa Springs down through Bushnell, we're catching some rain and also getting a little bit of rain here in Tavares and Leesburg and Mount Dora. Now, so far, so good as far as storms go. We're not getting much in the way of lightning, but that could change. Dublin, Tangerine, and eventually this will be heading eastward toward Mount Plymouth and, and also Zellwood. Yeah, a lot of us getting some rain this morning. Orlando, our best chance for it's going to be right around 8 o'clock in the morning. And I think this model may be underdoing it a little bit two hours from now for Orlando, but it gives you an idea of the rough, rough cut here. And as far as the forecast goes this afternoon, the theme is that we're going to get some drier air working in from the north. So that'll cut off our significant rain chances in Gainesville and Ocala. But after 2 o'clock, it's game on once you get south of the villages in Orlando. And we could see if this all comes to pass, if we get enough daytime heating, these storms will be slow movers and torrential. Remember, we've got a little bit of a tropical connection here. Also, some leftover moisture from a now long dead hurricane barrel. And so if we catch some of that rain as it looks like it may happen, I mean, it's possible before this all dissipates after 11 o'clock that we see four or five inches of rain, maybe more. But it's going to be like this, right, where it's kind of up and down. We In Orlando, we get some rain around 9, dips down to a 30% chance around noon, then back up to a 60% chance at 4, then back down. You get the idea. It's one of those days. It's, it's a a difficult forecast as far as telling you exactly where and when it's going to rain, but we've got all the ingredients out there. It's Florida. It's summertime. You know the drill. Just keep an eye to the sky if you have outdoor activities. It's going to get hot too this weekend. 96 degrees as we head into Sunday. It's going to feel like 110. So one good news with the, the clouds and the rain is that at least it's going to keep our temperatures down a little bit.